Okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I am back here at 4 Golf Chester. It's actually t-shirt weather in the UK, which is fantastic news. We're gonna be playing golf in the sun very soon. But I'm really interested to try this next product that I've got in my hand right now. The Pittsburgh Persimmon, the name that I like of it, but they're calling it the original one, the Mini Driver from TaylorMade. Not seen the Mini Driver for a few years. I'm not sure, too sure when the last one was released, and I remember that being from TaylorMade as well. And it's something that perhaps appeals to me, it perhaps appeals to you as an average golfer as well. So first of all, before we go any further, comment down below, what are your thoughts on this in terms of the principle of it? Before you get to try it, what do you think in terms of principle? And principle being, shorter shaft, so effectively a three wood shaft, but a bulkier size club head than what you get on a three wood, so maybe a little bit more confidence, confidence inspiring, but with greater control that you might get from that shorter shaft. Uh, as opposed to on a driver. So first of all, in principle, because in principle for me, I like this idea. I'm always ebbing between the convenience of a three wood, the security of a three wood, rather than playing driver off the tee. And is this the answer for the average golfer? Only one way to find out. Let's get this camera moved. Get in some golf balls. I'm gonna record data on this, on three wood, and on driver out the M6 range and try and find out where this mini drive from Taylor Made sits in their range. Right then, before we start hitting golf balls, let's just talk about the club itself and what TaylorMade have packed into this in terms of tech. Speed pockets there, titanium body. Um, shaft, I'm using 13 and a half degree um, standard loft. It's also available in 11 and a half degrees and it's adjustable two degrees either way. Twist face makes an appearance once again. If you look at it from the top side, it's got that carbon imprint matte finish crown that we've seen on M5, M6. But they've changed the sort of slot, the line at the front edge of the club, uh, which has gone to a high gloss black finish, as opposed to the white and silver we've seen in the previous models. And when it sits behind a ball, one thing is this, is, and I think this is the big question um, that I'm gonna hopefully answer, in my head at least, um, between the, the three wood and the driver. It's got more mass than a three wood and less than a driver. And it's got a shorter shaft than you would find on the driver, but probably similar to the three wood. And the question is, is that combination of shorter shaft but, um, than a driver, bigger head than a three wood, is that an ideal combination in terms of inspiring confidence? So that's the question I think that uh, where this fits and who it might suit. Let's hit a ball and get some feet. Absolutely ripped that. It's a big old carrier, like I said, I've hit this off camera getting warmed up and it certainly performs, there's absolutely no doubt about that. It fires the ball out there. The one thing I noticed as well, between the M6 at least, and I think from memory M5 as well, it is a totally different sound. So what I was expecting was obviously very much, very similarities between the models that have just come out from TaylorMade. And certainly in sound, it is totally different. Um, as I understand again in terms of the technology, there is a low, low CG in this, so again it's helping, assisting in terms of getting that ball airborne. We're expecting some, as with any club that's released now, some fast ball speeds off the face. I think I'll go and hit some more balls, collect some data, and then I'm going to do exactly the same with three with the driver. Be about data and like I said trying to find where this club sits in the, uh, in the in the bigger picture and who perhaps it might suit so just go over my numbers there very briefly uh, and I'm more than happy what do they hit uh, five six shots and I'm 
perfectly satisfied I've got enough to work with already because uh, it went off very very well indeed a few variables in terms of launch but overall ball speed remained quite high and quite consistent a decent spin number as well it hasn't gone again don't forget 13 and a half degrees worth of loft but it still maintained a very very good spin number um, 241 average carry longest ball being a 250 carry with a mini driver and to be honest with you if I could hit 240 plus and feel a bit more control with that shorter shaft, then I would take that all day long. So what I'm gonna do now is let's have a look at some numbers that I achieved with the free wood and then into the driver. which is uh, the first comparable and to be honest with you it sits exactly where you'd expect it to be 228 carry there's a 211 in there which really dropped the number off so I'd expect it to be in around 235 is my sort of number where I'd expect a three wood to be uh, launched at 15.7 ball speed does drop off at 138 um, and 28 spin so exactly where I'd expect it to be faster ball speeds off of the and don't forget sorry the important thing to mention is 15 degree is the loft that I hit on the three wood so one and a half degrees worth of loft difference I think what you've seen in terms of the difference in numbers is probably exactly what you'd expect because he's got same length shafting just that different loft obviously the different size and head but that's where we'd expect it to be what happens when you go to drive performance 247 carry uh, overall uh, there's a 239 in there or a couple of those but anything around that sort of 250 255 is my optimal carry distance with driver and it's really about dispersion rather than carry distance the spin is a lot lower at 1864 this is nine degree the driver that I've put up against here 143 ball speed and average which is the real interesting one 14.6 launch but if you just remember that 143 ball speed and we go back to the mini driver 143.9 ball speed off the mini driver and for me that's a real telltale sign of probably down to the fact that i found the center of the club face a little bit more consistently and hence why i've managed to achieve that greater ball speed and that's a real telltale sign in these numbers so i'm going to try the camera's rolling the camera's rolling we have witnesses louis has just made an appearance actually how are you Luke? I'm very good mate, yeah, you, yeah. You're saying hello but nobody can see it. I'm going to attempt to hit the mini driver off the deck, which I did five minutes ago when the camera wasn't on. <laughs> I actually witnessed it. You did see that though. Yeah, yeah. But you know, well, no, so... Well, Pittsburgh for Simmon. The Pittsburgh for Simmon, that's what I'm just going to. So the thing for me is, um, where the versatility might drop off is the idea that obviously with three wood in the bag, you're comfortable, or relatively comfortable with taking that off of the tee, but also off the deck as well. So by perhaps dropping the three woods to put a mini driver in, is that something, is that a compromise? Now, Taylor May is suggesting you can hit this off the deck. I'm suggesting you can as well. Well, to be fair, on the, pre on the previous shot it happened, so. Witness Luke, don't be looking away. Well, let me tell you this, we can't get the camera going down uh, the, the range, but I'm more than happy you probably picked up, at least on the sound as well anyway. And been surprised, yeah, I did it a few off camera um, from the deck, and it was surprisingly, I wouldn't say easy, but I, I picked it up. Good ball flight. Ball still launched as well. Sounds so, great, doesn't it? It was really good, and like I said, the interesting bit for me was if I'd look at the club, did I think I could pick that up off a tight line? I'd probably say no, but again, this low CG uh, certainly helped in getting that ball up and out there. So another tick in the box for the mini driver. I think our next match, Lou, I might have this in the bag. I can't keep this lad off the camera at the moment. It's just any opportunity and he's on. But he likes this club, I know he does. He's got a bit of an eye for it. And you're gonna have a go off the deck. Straight off the deck for uh, the average golf pro. First swing of the day. 
No, it's just that's like I've seen it a couple of these, they go flying. Wow. The one thing noticeable with Louise as opposed to mine, is you, you've managed to get still a real high launch on it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think for the better player you sacrifice anything. It's just, you know. Now sometimes it's very easy uh, to overcomplicate these reviews and uh, I'm not going to do that. We're going to keep this very simple and straightforward. We've seen the data. Uh, it kind of was where you'd expect it to be from the T, so the yardage increases basically came down to loft. What we've seen with the dispersion was, uh, again, greater control with the shorter shaft, so again, something that you would have naturally expected. The one surprise was the ability to pick the ball up off of, um, of a tight light. Um, off a, effectively a fairway that bit i didn't expect to do with that type of club um and perhaps is a real big tick in the box because again versatility is the thing and it's kind of the question we were looking for is who does this suit and i think again probably what you'd have expected the answer to be is the answer if you're struggling with driver in terms of confidence in terms of control in that longer shaft but you don't like the smaller head of the three wood because that larger profile of the driver is what gives you the, let's, let's be honest, we sit that behind the ball of the driver, we don't feel like we can miss. Um, so you don't like the three wood because of the smaller head, then maybe this is that ideal compromise. Bigger head, shorter shaft, ball absolutely fires out there. I love the look of the thing as well. And like I said, um, how do we pick fault? Maybe a bit expensive as they all are. Other than that, it's hard to be negative about this mini driver. And uh, yeah, it's a real, real positive from me and one that I would like to get out there on the fairways. And I think maybe a better idea, one for team average to test. I think we need four or five different players with a different opinion than me. And uh, let's see what they've all got to say about this in the, in the weeks ahead. But I think this could be a popular little club from TaylorMade. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Comments down below hit that like button, subscribe if you don't already, do all those things, and uh, I will see you very, very soon. Now I know it's dark from back there, but I knew you wouldn't believe me unless I showed you just how easy it was to pick up this mini driver off that tight lie. I can't believe that ball flight. It was better than the one that I hit on camera first time round. <laughs>